This tutorial will be covering how X-Array can open multi-file datasets. In many cases, large datasets are spread over multiple files, so no individual file becomes too large, and operating on a subset of the data is easier without having to read the whole dataset or download it. X-Array can open multiple files as a single X-Array dataset with the open MF dataset command. Pass it either a list of files to open or a wildcard string that matches the desired files. This is useful as it can skip wasteful steps of creating intermediate datasets, which are aggregations of existing data. Just load it all up and select out what is required. So we'll start with the required imports. In this case, just X-Array and the matplotlib inline magic. Wildcards only work when accessing files on a local file system. For OpenDAP, it is necessary to pass a list of URLs. Below a list of URLs are created from the individual file names, which are joined to a prefix. The output shows the three URLs that are created. This list is then passed to OpenMF dataset. It doesn't take too long because it's not actually loading any data, only metadata. But it does need to interrogate all the files and try and figure out how best to join them together. So that's finished. We'll look at, we can see how large the data set is by using the n bytes attribute and just dividing it by a thousand, thousand cubed gives us the size in gigabytes, so it's just over 3 gigabytes. If we look at the, the data set metadata, we can see that the time dimension has 27,393 steps. So this is this is daily daily data. TAS is the surface air temperature and that has a size of 27,393 in time and 145 and 192 in spatial dimensions. So depending on how much data needs to be read from this multi-file data set determines how long it will take to load. But as an example, um, below we'll select out a, an area corresponding to Australia. Before I do that, I'll just mention that there's also extra information in the data variables section, which we haven't seen before. Particularly this dask array shape and chunk size. Dask is beyond the scope of this introduction, but X-Array has assigned a dask chunking to the data variables as they are split across files. In particular, the time dimension is split into three lots of 9,131 per file. Regardless of chunking, this data set can be used as if it were a single file for the purposes of manipulations and calculations. Now it is possible to specify a special subset containing Australia using cell, which seen before. So here we are we're slicing, we're selecting out latitudes from minus 50 to minus 5 and longitude from 110 to 160. And you can see that was fast as well because it's not actually loading anything, it's just querying the metadata for the TAS variable inside the TAS, the DS, the data set, and creating this description of what the new data set, the extent of the new data set. So you can see it's, it's a lot smaller in time, in, in latitude and longitude, but the time dimension remains the same. We can confirm that's correct by plotting the first time point, and there you see the Australian mainland outlined from the higher temperatures. So TAS underscore Oz is now a 75 year daily temperature data set of Australia. Any calculation can be performed, for example, analysing the variability in space by time uh, and season. There are many, many possibilities. And this has been achieved without creating any intermediate data, data sets at all. 